people always try to, I don't know, people who, just bullshit ass people. <laughs> they always try to come and say, you think you uh, expert in all this shit? And it's like, no. Nah. I'm definitely not a fucking expert. Anything I've done in my life has nothing to fucking do with psychology besides me going through depression, me having severe anxiety, me having to go and deal with this shit, me having survival skill, me having to pick myself up after fucking myself off, making poor decisions that affected my family, poor decisions that affected my life, decisions that could have ended my life. So, no, I'm not an expert. If anything, I'm an expert by experience. But as far as all the other shit, I don't know about it. You know what I'm saying? And at that point, that's how I thought about it. Until I start, actually started <laughs> researching and actually knowing something about it. Taking the initiative to not only understand, yeah, I, I went through something. Okay, let's go to the next thing. No. Actually taking the time to involve that in my healing process and that's how I've been healing I've been healing from understanding what the fuck I'm exactly going through in my life I have kids that I have to teach them that I have to teach them how to heal you know how to heal. It may be a time where that mother might pass away or I might pass away. I don't want them to go down the same road that I went down when my mother passed away. I don't want them to, to do that. So in order for me, you know what I'm saying, to go through that and not teach my children how to heal or just how to heal through just anything, even them going through school, you know what I'm saying, I'm always teaching them, like, hey, how was your day, they tell me how that day was, it was good, bad, mad, sad, and we talk about it, and we actually sit down and have conversations or over the phone or wherever, but I talk to them about it simply because I want them to, to not only have the experience, but I want them to actually understand while they're going through what they're going through. And because they can understand what they're going through, like they have an advantage over the next person and they have an advantage over life because they don't just they, they don't just go through things. Man, they want to know the why's and what's and how. Like why did I go through this? What was this person even, even doing? You know what I'm saying? Go find that out. And most likely, you'll find out your solution. Most likely, you'll get over it a lot faster if you just sat there and just dealt with pain and didn't try to heal yourself or didn't try to, you know what I'm saying, didn't try to do shit, you know what I'm saying? So, that's important to me, right? That's very important to me. It's critical, you know? And um, that being said, man, this is the end of this episode. Hope you enjoyed it, you know what I'm saying? Hope you ain't fell asleep yet. If do, just go listen to uh, the part where you fell asleep. <laughs> where you fell asleep at and started over. You, you know what I'm saying? Good thing about everything these days, you can stop, start, pause, and reverse. You know what I'm talking about? So um, make sure you get them listens in. Make sure you spread the word. Make sure you tell people, hey, man, you got to take this trip pill. It's the hottest shit on the motherfucking street. You know what I'm saying? Make sure you tell people that you got a goddamn me. You know what I'm saying? Listen to this dude. Hey, you know, I know it's not the you know, the co co conventional podcast. We ain't talking about oh this bitch got a barking bag. Oh, she's sleeping with whoever and all these punk ass current events that nobody give a fuck about. I actually care about some things that actually affect people in my life and if it have affected my life and the way I think and the way I live and the way I you know, believe what I believe in. And so I really want to make sure that I create something with purpose, no matter who listens to it or how many people. Whenever I put out, whenever they type my name in, I want it to be attached to something that has meat to it, something that has substance to it. I don't want it to be attached to something that has nothing to it. It's a media podcast that you can go to and listen to some other shit. 
and that's what you want to do, go to those other podcasts. But we're going to come and take a trip here. It's going to get trip. You know what I'm saying? You're going to get 100%. No holes barred. Pure, unadulterated truth. Raw shit. You know what I'm talking about? Raw like raw like yellow shea butter. You know what I'm saying? You got to... You really can get into it, man. I think a lot of times we fail to really identify what our problems are, especially in my community, being a black man, being a black person in general, but especially being a black man. We just are built and we are, we built and we talk to just, just deal with shit. Just deal with it. Just deal with it. Just deal with it. But nobody ever gives us ways to deal with it. Nobody ever gives us solutions. Everybody can point out the motherfucking problems, but ain't a motherfucking person out here trying to point out the motherfucking me solutions. So that's what this shit is here for. That's what the trill pill is for. The trill pill is for really for trying to find solutions to this shit of why the fuck we go through a lot of these things and how the fuck can we get past these things? You know what I'm saying? And really just take the time to identify what we're going through not only for the benefit of learning, but the benefit of having to teach our children, having to teach our brothers, our mothers, our sisters. You know, it's a, lot, a whole lot of us have never been exposed to a lot of these concepts or even understand the way of thinking like this. A lot of us don't even understand why the fuck we even go through things that we go through and we're going to keep going through them and keep feeling the same way about it because those things may never change. But because those things may never change, that means we have to change us. In order to change us, we have to start really pinpointing, putting the motherfucking fingerprint and footprint all over this shit so we can get an understanding and an overstanding like the great Pimp C would say. Not only do you have to understand, you got to overstand. You know what I'm saying? Because when, when, when you don't overstand or understand, you find yourself right in the motherfucking middle. And right when you're right in the motherfucking middle, you getting stacked. You, ain't, you know what I'm saying? you stacking. So you got to make a motherfucking decision at some point to really go through fight, you know what I'm saying, for your spirit and your mind. Because if you don't, you just a waste of fucking skin and a waste of organs. And I don't think God put us here on earth to be waste of people. I don't think your mama birthed you to be a fucking waste to society. Whatever you put out, make sure you put out some that has a meaning to it. Not saying you can't have fun, but at some point, you gotta think about something that has meaning to it and how something that you have can and and, and probably will affect somebody in the decisions that they are going to make throughout their lives. What is your message to people? What are you telling them to do? What are you telling them? What will they get from you talking about whatever you're talking about or rapping about whatever you're rapping about or thinking about or singing about whatever you're gonna rap or sing about? You know what I'm saying? What is your meaning? What is your purpose? How do you, you know what I'm saying? I think about the web song, how you ride. I'm thinking about how you live. You know what I'm talking about? Get it how you live. You know, how are you getting it? Are you really getting it how you live? Or are you really just living without a motherfucking meaning, without a motherfucking purpose? You know what I'm saying? Fighting and scratching through life. Never thinking that you're working. You know what I'm talking about? You know what I'm saying? How are you? How are you dealing with stress and trauma and all this shit? Are you really taking the time out to really deal with it, or are you just trying to drink and pop and smoke yourself in, in, into a goddamn abyss every goddamn day to escape the pain? Even though you escape pain, right? Think about painkillers. They wear off after a period of time. You know, they wear off. And when people get addicted to the painkillers because they, you know what I'm saying, they, they've they gotten used to that feeling of, damn, I, I took this little pill and God damn it, I feel great. I want to keep feeling great. Even though I know that I'm hurting and I'm not really doing, you know what I'm saying, <clears throat> excuse me, taking the initiative to really you know 
uh, heal. You know, you, you're trying to heal. You know what I'm saying? And instead of trying to heal yourself, the, the doctors told you put this pill in your body and fuck up your. You know what I'm saying? Fuck up your body just to feel good. You know what I'm saying? And you got placebo in a whole other episode. You know what I'm saying? But it is some of these things that I that I really think we can benefit from when we look this shit up, man. Like, look, like looking this shit up, like looking at Victor Franklin's life and a few other, you know what I'm saying, people's lives, um, lives, man, it's amazing. It's amazing. You really want to sit and wonder how much can a human really bear, you know, so think about our ancestors and slavery, you know what I'm saying? A lot of them bear a lot of pain, a lot of anguish. I mean, let's think about the, 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 the first group, say, probably maybe the first the first group of people that came from Africa that were brought, they ain't, they ain't come nowhere, that were brought to America. And their mindset of being picked up, put on a fucking boat, being over in this land, and in a matter of days, months, you, you, you be beaten, and you, you be, you know what I'm saying? Like somebody trying to literally make you submit to what they believe in and what they want you to do and how you should live just for their benefit. You know? What was the mindset of those people? How did they survive? Some of them didn't survive. But how was the, you know, the mindset? See, at that point, they couldn't necessarily change their situation. They couldn't change it. So they had to change themselves. And then that's when you get into the Harriet Tubman and that term. So you know what I'm saying? That's when you get into it, you know what I'm saying? The R heroes of that time. People have to change the outcome. Shit, I can't change the situation. What for the one slaves, all that shit cool. I can change myself. I can change something in myself to go and make a motherfucking way. And for centuries, making a motherfucking way. You know what I'm saying? So that's why I, I kind of want you to think about and listen to um, a lot of the shit that I'm, I'm saying. Uh, and don't just take this shit for granted. Um, whatever I'm saying, I mean, you know what I'm saying? Whatever I come up with, I don't just, you know, copy and paste this shit and talk about it. I really take my time out to think and to read and to comprehend and to kind of break down and uh, how I feel my experience of going through all this shit that I went through. I think we will all be in a family if we do the same. You know what I'm saying? So God bless you. God bless whatever you got going for yourself. And most importantly, stay trill. Thank you. You see?